Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome, welcome. Don't do my laps. Welcome, don't do one. How do I always end up with one random cat? It's the moon. I don't know how that happens. So, okay, girlfriend. Alright. So, we did Sad Choice, Labor Sport, Virgo. We did Two Earths. See how prepared I am, guys? You're probably screaming at me right now. I'm like, Court, you already labeled it. You already labeled it, Court. Water, water, fire, fire. Air, air. Alright, let's do Pisces. Let's do my Pisces. Let's do my fishies. Let's do my fishies. Alright. Start with your Venus. Start with your Venus. I hope everybody's having a great week. Can't believe it's already Thursday. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Alright. I'm trying. I'm trying. Here's what it's sticky. Oh, my mind just went into the gutter. Sorry, I just said that out loud too. It's where you guys' mind obviously is. My mind was not there. <laughs> I promise you it was not. <laughs> Big man. Sorry. I got a dose of court. Alright. We got new love. New love. Safety in love. Pisces Venus, please. Pisces Venus. Yeah, and I know your mind just went there too. Holy crap, is you guys' mind in the gutter or what? I normally don't read minds that are in the gutter. I normally don't. A whole bunch of cats came out, but. I'm taking them because I feel them. So listen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't expect that money. Okay. So we have new love and express your love. Okay. We have it safe for you to love. Give your relationship a chance. We have romantic feelings. Very soon decide what it is you want. Okay. We have finances and career. Keep an open mind. To me, that's talking about a new job. Okay. Optimistic. Stay optimistic. All right. It can... We have engagement, so that just, it's telling me that I can definitely go, it can definitely become a commitment, okay? Because that's how I read that card. So, for my Pisces Venus, I'm doing this real quick and I'm heading to the gym. Actually, I got a meeting. Another one, actually, real quick. Sorry, I just got sidetracked. You want to know why? Because I got my gym pants on. You can tell I got pants on them with the work shirt. Yep, that's cool for you. So, oh, I put my shirt on wet, guys. Sorry. It's you guys' fault. Your heads are all over the place right now. It's your fault. So, listen, you either have somebody new coming into your life, okay, or this is somebody from the past that is coming back around. Um, for some it's the past, for some it's new, which is great, okay? You're very passionate about this person. Um, but if this is new love, why would you just jump on the bandwagon and express how you feel right off the bat? I mean, that would be, that would be nuts. I know people fall head over heels, but um, that's why I feel like for some it's new. And we're hesitant, you know, because of the past. You got feelings for this person. I don't know. Maybe you met him at work. I'm not sure. Um, you're trying to stay optimistic, but you're thinking of the past, okay? For others, it is the past. And either somebody is coming in or you need to express how you feel. And the universe is saying, like, look, like, it's safe. You know, give it a shot. The feelings are there. You've been very indecisive. Um... 
I think you've been more focused on work than anything. But to me, where it says keep an open mind, to me, this is straight up telling me there's a good chance you're going to go into like another career field. Okay. And they want you to stay optimistic. Um, whatever this, whatever this is, definitely looks like it can escalate. Okay. Quick. Um, So, that's what you're dealing with with your Venus for the next month or so, okay? Until I do an update on Venus. But, this is what's here now. This is what's coming or it's here, okay? So, I guess my best advice would you for you would, you know... Work on it, but you got to work on you too here, okay? Because this isn't just about the other half. If you don't feel like it's safe to love somebody, then that stems from, you know, your your own fears, your own past, okay? So you still have some work to do on you. I'm not saying you can't step forward or make the effort, but be honest with yourself. And if this is, you know, someone you love, you know, tell them and be honest with them, okay? When it comes to every aspect of your life, because I literally have every aspect of your life on my board when it comes to mental, physical, when it comes to work, when it comes to love, when it comes to family or friends, I mean, I see it, okay? So. Let's see what's going on with your new moon energy. New moon for my fishies. So we have the eight of cups with the high priestess. So it looks like you're walking towards the high priestess, okay? You're walking towards your happy. Um, Because the eight of cups always walks to their happy. I don't see sorrow here. To me, this is saying... Take this opportunity and say goodbye to the past, okay? The past feelings, the, the past whatever you're holding on to. Um, use your intuition. You're walking towards it, okay? If you are literally going to the high priestess, that's great. High priestess is man or female. She's always female in my decks, but um, except for one, but... She's intelligent, she's analytical, she's practical, she's determined, she's she's witty, she's fiery, she's smart, she's she's got wisdom, she uses her intuition. Um, does she hold secrets? Because a lot of people are like secretive. Yeah, but she holds secrets with the with the, the truth, with the promise of listen, like without breaking confidentiality, I'll put it that way. Um so, but I'm telling you, don't, don't underestimate the high priestess. Okay. So, tell me about the eight of cups real quick. So take this opportunity that they're, you know, look at that. You're going straight to love. Like I said, you're going straight to fulfillment because the, the eight of cups always goes to the two. Okay. Um, this is, you know, seeking fulfillment. So. That it's, it's beautiful. So take this opportunity. Tell me about the high priestess, please. Or you're not going towards a high priestess. This is you just going towards happy. But I'm thinking you're going towards a high priestess or, or thinking about telling a secret. It could, it could be that too. Okay. Um, revealing something more or less. All right. So the nine of pentacles. This high priestess? Nah, you're going to this. You're going to somebody who's very confident. Okay. Somebody who's very secure. Somebody that won't take bullshit from nobody. All right. So you are dealing with a high priestess. So that's a beautiful thing because, A, you're dealing with an adult. Okay. Somebody who knows what they want. Somebody who's confident. Somebody who's grounded. Somebody who's stable. Emotionally stable. Financially stable. Just stable. Okay. So right now, you're an eight. You're, you're both about to be nines. Okay. When it comes to... You know, again, expressing, doing all this, and then getting to where you need to be. Okay? 
We got the three of wands. We started dancing and love brought us into a groove. As soon as we started to move. So it's just, that's what I'm saying. And with this three of wands, it's, it's going towards your ships. Like you're, you're looking towards the future. You're looking for something bigger and brighter. Okay, so put some pep in the step and let's go. All right, because right now, you're daydreaming about this person. Fantasizing. Okay, I'm not saying it's illusions. It's like you know, but you don't know how to, you don't know how to step forward. But you need to put some pep in your step because the universe is giving you this energy to move forward. Okay? So, I want all three of these, actually. So, we have the high, we have the temperance. We have the seven of pence with the four of wands. Okay? So, you're looking, you're now trying to temper your emotions. You're, you're now, this is also a reconciliation card. This is also healing. Okay? You're looking at everything that was invested. So, this is obviously talking from somebody from the past, or, yeah, I'm going to read it that way with these cards. Like I said, it can still be new, but you're still dwelling on the past. Don't do that. But I don't think you are because you're walking to your fulfillment. So, to me, this is healing and tempering your energies, finding the yin and the yang, you know, and you obviously invested some time or somebody else invested some time, okay, because you're now looking at time and effort, and you're, you're considering, do I put effort and time into this? And we have the four of wands, so, you know, you're, you're looking at stability. So, if you're questioning whether this person has stability, I, I wouldn't question it, you know, that they're, they're telling you she's the high priestess and the nine of pence, okay? Stable, for sure, okay? What else? No more, no more. <laughs> there's your ten of cups okay walk towards it walk towards it um you're walking towards stability at the eight of wands it's, it's saying go be a wild horse feel free all right feel have that spirit of a wild horse um this is beautiful the new moon energy that they're giving you to work with is absolutely amazing okay so focus on you right this second and you know figure out what it is that you really need to, 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 to light this fire under your ass right now, okay? Because you're, you're going right towards it. And I always say, you start off, you started with the Eight of Cups and you ended with the Ten of Cups, okay? So, I mean, fully beautiful. And, and the person you're going towards is amazing, okay? Um, definitely has their shit together. There's no question there. All right, so take this opportunity. What a beautiful, beautiful reading so far. It, it's absolutely gorgeous, okay? Um, beautiful. So, let's do, let's do the, um, can you feel the beat within my heart? This also reminds me of, like, um, one of the oracle cards I read the other day. You know, follow the beat of your heart, follow the drum of your, the beat of the drum of your heart, something like that, okay? So, follow your heart. Follow your soul's desire right here, please. Huh? That beat. That, that, that beat. So, Pisces. Alright, so we have the Knave of Swords. Alright, this is the Page of Swords. But listen, I don't, I'm not crazy about this card because this talks about being caught in the moment and this talks about there's somebody watching from the outside. Okay, so this can either be talking about an outside influence or the two of you are so wrapped up into each other, you're not realizing what's going on on the outside. So to me, this this card screams caution, okay? Because, I mean, how is anyone paying attention here? No one's paying attention. We're distracted, okay? I mean, we're, we're wearing damn Cinderella heels, okay? So we're distracted. So that's, how, that's the desire the two of you have, okay? With the hangman. That's why I'm saying, see, so take a step back for a second. Okay? Take a step back and look at your surroundings. There's something going on. There's there's definitely something on the outside going on here. There's no question.
you know, it's funny when I was cutting the deck, I, I did see a couple times the outside influences, but it didn't come out and I don't feel it on my board except for in, with these cards. I, I'm feeling it strong, you know. Somebody's definitely on the outside looking in and um, you take that how you perceive that, but, you know, super distracted. Take take a step back, okay? So this, this is like almost like <sighs> lust or, or straight up passion, but you guys get so lost in each other that there's something on the outside you're not going to see. So that's kind of like a little bit of a warning, okay? And I'm not saying it's a third person like that, as in like a lover, not at all. It To me, this is the way you guys entangle with each other. I just don't want you to not see something that's important, whether it's work, love, family, outsider, you know, I don't know. Um, we got the two of wands. So <laughs> this is the same damn thing. All right. This two of wands right here is that when you guys have this conversation, be, be in the moment and, and, and yeah, you know, like, you guys get so lost within each other. Okay. These are three Three very strong cards saying this, but don't forget about what's on the outside. Don't get so wrapped up in each other that you start ignoring other aspects of your life. I mean, look at how in entwined you guys are. <laughs> and this is the hangman, so be careful that the universe don't hang you up if you get this hot and steamy with passion. I mean, holy shit. And not only is this passion, this is love. Okay, this is gorgeous. To have this type of intensity with somebody when it comes to love is, is beautiful, okay? But all, all three of these cards in this particular deck talk about being so wrapped up and, like I said, so entwined with each other that we'll, we're losing focus, okay? Whoa. I mean, they can't stress enough. All right. So, yeah, take take a break. All right. Just take a, a break and pay attention. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, the tool you were tired of shit. So, obviously, there was a rough path, uh, past, okay? But this also talks about becoming intimate again and, 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 and working towards something. But you're tired of shit, so take a break. Not a break from each other. Just take a break, okay? Because... If you don't, you're not going to see something on the outside, okay? But to me, this is stressing. Don't lose your focus. You, you, you have to learn how to balance all aspects of your life when you have this type of love. It's my favorite read so far. I'm not going to lie. And I don't got any Pisces in there. All right, so and now we have the tool pens, but... Here's the thing, we're, we're still a little nervous, but we're still, this talks about fear, okay, more than it does talking about rounding yourselves or the yin and the yang, even though it's the two of pence, okay, but this is, this is a little bit of a fear, it looks like the man or female, I don't see fear here, but maybe when it's like all said and done, you know, because you guys do get lost in, in this love and this passion and how is it we just have an everyday life without that fear kicking in? Because there's no fear here. There's no fear when it comes to intimacy. Okay? So, you, that's why it, it's safe for you to love. Okay? Express it. Tell them how you feel. If you have fears, talk about it. Alright? Again, two of cups. Holy shit. Twice. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay? Um... What a beautiful, beautiful connection. So you guys will get there no matter what, but you gotta you gotta walk towards it. Okay. We have the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. So to me this is speaking of you know, it's safe for you to love there's a guy on a horse. Alright, this two of pentacles where we have a little fear. Again, it's the guy. 
fearing it a little bit, but don't think for one second this isn't probably mutual. Um, but holy crap. The intensity you guys feel for each other is just amazing, okay? Go be that wild horse. Step into this, okay? This is, um, this is beautiful. You just got diamond girl on, too. See, you can have happiness all the way around. All you gotta do is embrace the creative aspect of it. And when I talk about creating, to me, is we all know what creating is, but when I... To me, when it talks about creation, all right, go create this, what you want, you're happy. But it always reminds me of, like, fear. Because to me, it's always like, replace your fear with creativity, okay? So, I literally just, I thought I cut it the same, but I didn't. I said, surrender. I, I released the need to control the situation. You had the emperor at the bottom of the deck, so you, you're holding on. Okay, you, you, we have a little bit of fear of opening up. Right. Work on your self-esteem a little bit, okay? Okay, that came, that came out real quick, okay? Adversity. I accept the challenges are the best way to learn. So yeah, this, this is a challenge, okay? Because probably of the past, and, and not to mention, um, this is this is not a reading you would take lightly. Or because if you're considering going in, going towards this, and, and you are, obviously, um, it's heavy, okay? So, and it's beautiful, and I don't, I don't know about the past, but this is definitely a past, okay? So, best advice for my Pisces. But it's all it's doing is stressing the, um, is stressing the meditation, is stressing, um, you really taking this energy and, and going, stepping into it, okay? So, in the darkest inky night, I next have the magic to weave into this world. This is a time for non reaction. Do nothing, find a quiet place within your heart and wait. And all will be revealed in the right time. Now is the time for quiet contemplation. You won't miss anything if you stay quiet. Be still and know that I next of night am always with you to discover your magic. It's, it's talking about things that sting gently, okay, in your sweet ears. So here's the thing. If you meditate and you haven't been meditating, they're not saying stay stagnant, okay? They're saying really go within and use your intuition. This Maybe you're not even walking towards the high priestess. Maybe it's saying you are walking towards fulfillment. Be the high priestess. Be that, have that spirituality. Go within. You know what you're seeking. You know, have that confidence to step forward and go towards this. Because to me, this has been a while. And I can tell you I know that because the Eight of Cups came out first. You haven't been happy with something. This person makes you happy. So really use your intuition and go within. To me, this is already saying you know. You know. Put pep in your step, okay? Because you have adversity. I accept challenges are the best way to learn. And this is a huge challenge for you. Why? Because you have to open up and express. You're probably not one that likes to express. Okay, um, but I will tell you when you guys get wrapped up into this, okay, because you got two of the two of cups, they're, they're telling you go, walk towards it, be open to it, give it a chance, speak up, express, there's love here, there's passion. I mean, you name it, it's here, okay, fear's here, you name it. But when you get into this, don't be so focused on the two of you because that's gonna, that's gonna easily happen. Okay, just stay, stay focused, okay, because I saw the abundance cards a couple of times too, so this is abundant everywhere in your life, okay, so you're going to have to learn to, to balance, okay, you did have temperance, okay, you're going to have to learn how to balance every aspect of your life here, okay, so this is a, um, an amazing, amazing read, I'm not kidding, just these three cards are completely stressing, please. Just be aware that you guys get so entangled. Take that break. And, you know, not a break from each other. Just 
you guys are obviously together. Just rest, okay? You guys obviously have been through a lot. Don't don't worry about the fear. Don't let the fear hold you back from this. If you can balance out things the right way, you can do it. I, I can't imagine you can't, okay? So this is either speaking... To me, this is you're going towards the high priestess because you're walking towards the high priestess, okay? And this woman's confident with the nine of pets, okay? Man or woman. Um, but with the emperor being at the deck and that surrender card coming out, you're having a hard time going towards this. But I'm telling you, it, it can be stable, okay? You just got to temper your emotions. Don't be stuck looking at this investment for too long because it looks to, looks to seem like it's holding you back. But you can have that stability. You can have that happy. I don't know if this person has a family with the Ten of Cups there because there is a child, okay? Or you already have a family. But this can be this can be a brand new feeling of love, which is beautiful, okay? So there, go for it. You know, express your love. It's safe. Give it a chance, okay? There, there's feelings here. Very soon decide. That's why I'm saying with that meditate, they're not saying sit on this, okay? So... Like I said, this is kind of one of its own. I don't know if you're having troubles with your finances or it's saying keep an open mind. To me, this is a new job opportunity coming your way. Okay, stay optimistic about whatever this is, okay, because it can escalate quickly. And from all those cards I saw, it, it sure as heck looked like it was about to. So um, don't get lost. Make sure you, you, you balance out those energies, okay? I love you guys.